Well, I fixed the motor. You run sweet. to do to it was top coil yesterday right before dark I noticed it crack right here shortened to ground so I went and picked out another old junk coil I had which looked just like this came over this head I was outside for years cleaned up the coil Straightened out the laminations best I could. Took a sharpie to it, some WD-40, cleaned it up. Put a new spring on the end of the wire, and the coil works fine. Uh, if the cracks aren't near the ground, you usually can get away with it. But when you get a crack that's right near the ground, you gotta change your coil. I thought about possibly doing uh, Marine Techs, you know. But I'm going to tell the uh, the gentleman just to buy a new coil he could put in himself and just keep this one on for a spare or until it goes. Because I'm not going to guarantee you an old coil like that. About $30. And I also yanked out the thermostat, which looks okay. He can put it back in if he wants or put a new one in. I'm not. Um, and one of the upper spring was stretched. It wouldn't snap onto the end of the plug. So I put a brand new spring in it. Even though this one looks new, it's stretched out. But other than that, she's a really nice motor. 120 pounds of compression in both cylinders. Oh. Hold on a second. I think I put the, the lanyard in there. <laughs> it's not going to start without the... Uh, without the lanyard. That's why I like the momentary factory buttons better. <laughs> you always forget to put it back in. So that's it for this one. This is, I spent about a little over an hour on it. Like I, I pulled the points, uh, they were really oxidized and dirty, and it didn't start that easy because of that situation. Plus, I had the intermittent coil compound problems. So, uh, she's ready to go. Just to follow up on uh, yesterday's video. Thanks for watching. Next, <laughs> Chris, here's the clips that were missing. These brass clips, they were not even on there. So, I took two off another magneto I had. Both set of points were missing them. And uh, my own opinion is if they're missing, the spring is just resting against this piece of metal. So this ensures a better ground in my eyes. But anyway, that's straightened out. All cleaned up. The points are like new, pretty much. Why they just didn't put those clips on there is beyond me. You never know what you find when you take a flywheel off. It's like a mystery game. <laughs> this is special ring is what you use to adjust the coil gap to the flywheel magnets. Uh, it's pretty hard to do it without it, but you can. But I have the ring so I use it. Um, this side was out further than it was supposed to be, causing a minor problem. But now this is what you do to adjust it properly. Just wanted to show you the ring. Well, somebody was in this <clears throat> magneto. It's got the wrong washers. This one goes on the points. The ones with the teeth are on, holding the points down. So all the hardware is all mixed up. And there's no, no, no clips holding the points to the base. So I'm glad I pulled the flower wheel and inspected this because this is where the problem was. Between dirty, slightly dirty points and somebody was under here, probably didn't gap the, gap it properly. So, 
just want you to show you right here this washer here belongs underneath the holds the points down to the base and the, the washer that was on here with external tooth like this belongs holding the condenser down so but the major thing was the clip little brass clip that holds the uh, spring of the points to the base of the point so that's critical for a good ground okay Points are like new, a little oxidized, that's it. Like brand new. This one has a little oil on it and it's, and it's just really dirty. Very lightly with a fine blue rollock. And you're back in service. No pinning on this point at all. Just a little bit. You wipe them and clean them, gap them, put them back in. This is the most fun of all. I enjoy doing these little touch-ups more than anything else. Just a black sharpie, folks. Not too much. Have a good day, thanks.